Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I think I've got a fountain that everybody's going to love and you're all going to want to like and subscribe. Well, I hope. This is going to be the easiest, most fun project I think we've ever done. Today I'm going to share with you this fun bird bath that all you need is a shoebox and a ball and then you just need a straw or a little piece of tubing and a solar fountain. And yes, this may not look like much, but all you have to do is a little decor and you've got a beautiful bird bath. And don't look at this. This was a mistake. And boy, will this lead up to an ending. You'll see. So this is what you need to build this fun fountain. You need a shoe box, a plastic shoe box with a lid. Now the lid normally goes on like this but you're going to turn it this way. This is going to hold water as the water comes off the ball. The ball will be going here, the water will be going here. Now for the ball, you want to use a styrofoam ball and you want to make sure it's styrofoam. Do not use a floral ball. Now this is floral foam and it's crumbly. See how it crumbles away? It just crumbles off, falls apart. It's made and designed to soak up water. That's what you don't want. Floral foam is for flowers. They stick it in and then it absorbs water like a sponge. This will not work for using in a fountain. Green floral balls, they fall apart. That's what they're designed for. Think of styrofoam, coffee cups, they use that for serving coffee in. Those do not break down. They last practically forever. You want styrofoam. They come in white and they also come in green. Just make sure it's styrofoam. The rest is easy. You want one hole in the center. We'll come back to that soon. And then with this, just start making your holes. Now you're gonna want more holes than less holes. Let's get the holes done and I'll explain that. And as you know, I love my soldering iron. It's electric and I do tons of projects with it. Okay, if you need more holes, you can always go back later. If it starts to fill up and not go back inside the container and add in more holes. The center is going to be for your tubing. The tubing can be a straw if it fits your pump, your solar pump, or it can be the tubing. I buy tubing online. I'll put the link down below. You can go to a fish store, pet store, sometimes Home Depot and Lowell's, and they carry the tubing. So we got to make sure the tubing will go through. Let me unplug my soldering iron. Now I've got my soldering iron unplugged. Do this in a well-ventilated area. Now your tubing should go through without any problem. Look at that. No problem with that. Now I'll show you how to make a hole. It's very easy to make a hole in a styrofoam. You can use a screwdriver or a knitting needle. You heat it up. You can heat it up over a candle that's lit. I prefer a cooktop that's gas and heat it up. And then you just put your screwdriver or your whatever metal you're using and you push it through and it will go through very, very quickly. You can't use this because it won't go through. You'll end up with a hole way too big and it's too hot. Styrofoam doesn't need a lot of heat, so that's why you can do it with just a screwdriver or anything you want like that, a knitting needle. Then you put your tubing through, see? This goes through here. And that goes here. There's one more thing we can do. It's not that important, but I do prefer it, is I decide which way is the front. And what I do is I make a notch. You can make it on the corner or you can make it right here. This is still hot enough, I believe, to make the notch. What the notch is for is for your cord. So you can make the notch anywhere you want, but you want to get the cord so this way the lid will sit down nice. You can test it out as soon as the plastic is cool. Yeah, it stays hot for a long time. See the notch? That notch will fit your cord through. You want to make sure it's not hot. We don't want to put it through and burn our cord. Now you'll see all we have to do is attach the pump. The pump goes inside and the cord will come out and lay right there. Guess what? We're done. The only thing we need to do is go outside, fill this up with water, and find the place to put our solar panel. That's all there is to it. So that is how easy it is. As soon as I made it, I put it out in the garden. The problem was all the birds started coming to him. 
I had the beautiful blue scrub jay. He took it over. He was drinking from it. I had some house finches. It was the cutest thing. They came over and they were looking inside the shoe box trying to figure out where the water was. It was so cute. And then they started drinking and then pears were coming of house finches. It was adorable. Even a gross beak came to check it out. And then a little goldfinch came by and was drinking and the hummingbirds never got a chance to use it. I felt so bad. So I brought it over to the deck and here they are. Yes, I made two and I made one with a ball and we'll talk about the styrofoam cups in a few moments. But when I put it on the deck, they went wild, the hummingbirds. They started coming and taking a bath off the ball. They loved the ball. It was the cutest thing. Now, like I said, put flower pots around it, put it in a planter. You can move this. This is the easiest thing to move around. It doesn't weigh much at all. You're going to have a blast with this and the birds love it. They don't care if it's sitting out in the open just like that or if you've got plants around it, but it's been so fun. And of course, the Orioles who are on the deck too because I feed the hummingbirds and they hang around here too. They found it. The male hooded Oriole came down and he took a drink. And then of course the babies and the females came and one of them just splashed and splashed along the top because the lid holds a little bit of water and that's exactly what the Orioles love. So they got in there and they splashed around and took a bath. Everybody's enjoying this. Those shoe boxes are like a dollar to buy. The styrofoam balls, they're also a buck or two. So cheap. All you need is a solar fountain. I'll put some links underneath my video here so you can look around and see which type you want. Just make sure it's the pump that has the solar panel with the long cord and you will be good to go. And as far as the cup, I was just playing around. I had no idea. Watch and see what happened when I put the cup out. That was the funniest thing. I didn't even expect it. So yes, you can use a free cup from the restaurants or wherever you get it. Go to a party, take the cup home. They love that too. Watch the ending. It was adorable. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some ideas. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Gosh, I guess I wasted two bucks on a styrofoam ball. Who knew they would use a plain old styrofoam coffee cup? Wow! Okay, that's another video on how I made that. Too fun. Actually, just too cute.